Hi, I'm Steve, the owner of Vero Linens. Now, what causes sheets to pill? Well, there's a, a number of different factors that can contribute to them pilling. And I'll be back in about 15 seconds to identify some of the likely culprits. Pills or pilling are those annoying little balls that you see in some textiles. And with regard to sheets, uh, pills detract from the way that the fabric feels against your skin. So you are going to want to avoid getting them in your sheets. With regard to bed sheets, pilling can appear or develop as a result of a number of different factors. First of all, cotton quality. The cotton quality that you find in these very inexpensive sheets is very low. Cotton is graded and sorted based on a number of criteria, but one of the factors that contributes most likely to pilling is the fiber length. On the high end of the scale or spectrum is extra long staple cotton. Now this is the finest grade of cotton. The fibers are 1.5 inches or longer. On the low end of the spectrum is the short fibers. These are also fibers that you find uh, in many uh, Chinese cottons and India-grown uh, cottons, and they are 0.8 inches or less. Now, why is cotton fiber length important? Well, with the short fibers, you're going to have literally twice as many ends in that cotton fiber itself, that individual fiber, as you will in, say, the extra-long staple cotton. What this means, more ends, more propensity to pill. The yarns cannot be woven as tightly, uh, and over time, those yarns start to relax and untwist, and those loose fibers can become knotted up and ultimately end up in pills. A good example of this is sweaters. The yarn that's used in many sweaters is a very loose um, uh, twist, and there's a lot of loose fibers in it. Those fibers... Again, in areas particularly like where it's abrading against itself, like under your arms and such, or where your arms are rubbing on the sides, those loose fibers twist up into knots and become pills. Another significant factor is exposure to high heat. Heat damages the cotton fiber. It makes it brittle, and it can break the fiber if it gets too brittle. The uh, uh, thing you're going to want to do or what you're going to want to do when washing your sheets is use a cool to warm water temperature. And when you're drying your sheets, you're going to want to use a low to medium heat setting. Again, the exposure to heat makes the fiber brittle. And you're going to want to take those sheets out of the dryer uh, when they're slightly damp. And then you can fold them up, uh, put them in your linen closet, or put them on the bed. You don't want the sheets to sit in the bottom of the dryer after the dry cycle is complete. So you don't want to over dry them and, and, and by letting them sit in the dryer, when the dryer shuts off, you're exposing them to heat. In addition, you are going to uh, find that they will get more wrinkles as they just sit there um, in that uh, bottom of the dryer. So take them out when they're slightly damp, put them back in the bed or the linen closet. Exposure to caustic chemicals is another factor. The tides and shears that you uh, purchase contain brighteners. Brighteners are bleach derivatives. Bleach is hard on the cotton fiber as well. In addition, continued use of bleach on white sheets will turn them yellow. You're going to want to use a mild detergent like Dreft, Ivory, or better yet, LeBlanc Linen Wash. We do sell this product. It's an excellent, outstanding detergent. Um, it is contains no caustic chemicals. It's specifically formulated for cotton, and it's endorsed by many of the leading luxury linen manufacturers. Last on our list, stubble from body hair. Now, uh, this individual has got a significant amount of body hair, uh, particularly on his back, and I suspect all over, but many men will shave their backs because they're a little self-conscious of that hair. Women Many of them will shave their legs as well. But what happens is three or four days after that back is shaved, 
that back is going to be like a Brillo pad. And that individual is laying on those sheets, tossing and turning, and that um, the stubble is going to abrade against that cotton, and it's going to loosen up those fibers and potentially create pills. So the takeaway from this is consider purchasing higher quality sheets. Don't expose them to too much heat. Don't expose them to caustic chemicals. And if you're shaving parts of your body, you're going to want to ensure that you don't build up a lot of stubble. So shave a little bit more frequently or don't shave at all. Anyways, I hope this helps. If you have any questions, always give us a call. Send us an email. We're happy to assist. Hey, thank you.